So, D&D, we finally got there. Last session, um, you guys made your final pre preparations to march on Castle Never, and uh, Tristan, you gave your amazing speech to the crowds before they uh, successfully rallied behind you, and you uh, stormed <laughs> the castle. There, you and Dagult uh, spoke on the bridge and uh, came to a temporary truce. Um, Tristan, if you can just remind us of the terms you offered Dagult. Uh, no military or violent action to be taken overnight until <coughs> until we meet again in the morning to discuss further terms. But what were the uh, the, the big terms you offered? I oh, can't the, say them. The big term. Oh, the big terms that I offered uh, Dagult were um, basically if he steps down, I'll allow him to have a pension and maintain his holdings. Um, mm -hmm. No bloodshed need to be uh, need to be you know need to <clears> occur. <throat> I would take the throne. Arlon would take stewardship. Dagot goes off to a nice, lovely retirement, basically. Very okay, generous, very, ge very generous terms. How long would you need to be Tristan. king for to get a pension? 25 years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 45 days. The morning comes. The morning dawns. Um, the day is yours. Remember, you're meeting um, Dagot on the bridge at dawn. Yep. But I'll say you've got like a little bit of time if there's any preparations you guys do want it. Tristan, okay. do you want me to sneak over and and be ready to cause some casualties, like, like <laughs> killing, killing Kelborn. Kelvin. 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 The name's yeah. right there! Says all of, oh yeah, right all there. of the names and the faces to them are all on the screen here. So oh, you've got, sorry. You can see you've got how... nice visual representations of what everyone looks like Kelbin. and a reminder of Kelbin. all of their names. Kelvin. You can also tell, okay. like, how stacked our side is. <laughs> Which is nice. Yeah, you got, you got a lot of people on your, on your team. Yeah, I could like sneak over the river and then see what happens during this meeting. Or I could sneak over during the meeting while they're all distracted, like watching you guys. How are you going to sneak over? I was thinking Reed could turn me invisible and I run across the water. <laughs> Running across the water is still going to make a big splash. Well, not if I do it a bit further away. You know, and like stealthily around. whilst checking for traps. <laughs> <laughs> checking for traps on the water like yeah sounds yeah. good i mean if he turns invisible and then i go like down river a bit yeah i mean it's up to you guys i would do that or, during the you. meeting because during the meeting they'll all be like focusing on the bridge right because they're gonna think there's no way someone is just gonna run across the water randomly i have a feeling sorry i have a feeling that this meeting is just like not gonna go on for very long because I, yeah, that's I, I fine. Know, it won't take me very long. At the end of last night, I, I very much am aware of the fact that Daggle is effectively a prisoner within his own his own mind at this point. I, I picked that up. So Yeah, by um, Kelben. No, well we don't know if it's Kelben or Al Emmerich. Or it could be Valindra. Pretty sure it's it Kelben. It could be Valindra. No, I'm pretty sure it's Kelben. Maybe. But we don't know. We don't know which one's the dragon. I'm sure it's Kelben. Okay. That, that's great. <laughs> we don't know for certain, which is why I'm playing it cautiously. But I'm pretty so, sure they're going to. Do you want me to sneak sure, across? I'm pretty sure they're going to deny my terms. Um. I. I, I why uh, are you sure? Sabine. On the toilet. As Sabine <laughs> said, uh, that you know we want them to make the first move. So. You look good. But what if we force them to make the first move? No. They're going to make the first move no matter what happens at this point. Um, I mean, our priority is killing a dragon, by the way. I know that. Yeah. But it doesn't mean we need excessive casualties along the way. Well, it wouldn't be. That's why we expose the dragon as soon as possible. How do you expose a dragon? <laughs> Attack Kelvin. Yeah, but we don't know it's Kelvin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. No, but we can't go off a pretty sure. Because it could be Emery well, as I well. Can. Thanks for that, Reed. <laughs> what? Oh, you deleted yourself. No, he just moved nah. himself <laughs> to the left. Oh, you just moved yourself. I thought you deleted. I just looked, <laughs> I looked away and looked back. <laughs> you turn code. Traitor! I'm sorry. Fucking sorry. traitor. I, You're no hand. I've seen the light. I mean, <laughs> I, let's put it this way, right? If I kill out Kelvin and it turns out he doesn't enter a dragon, then we can be sure it's not him. Yeah, but I'm gotta not, remember I'm, though, I'm not, the victors I'm, write the history, so I'm we should not. kill all of them, and then it doesn't matter because we are the victors. I mean, Calvin's not, not a good guy either way, is he? Right? So it doesn't no, matter. But I'm not arbitrarily sentencing people to death. But well, you're not. That's, I'm just killing him. That's arbit. That's, <laughs> that, 
That's an well, arbitrary you, you, dealing out of death. It's not, it's not quite the same as sentencing, though, is it? Well, it, it is. No one has to know. You've just told everyone on the council. I'm just no. I'm just speaking to you. <laughs> oh, I'm, talking to, I'm talking to everyone. Oh, I, I misread the situation. We're having a. We're having to be fair, I'm, I'm with I'm with Michael. I assume this was like just the Blades of Trust, just having yeah, a chat with yeah, the boys. Yeah. I I thought I was just at my war table, basically. That's what I thought. I you, haven't got, you haven't got a war when table. Get a war table. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my my metaphorical war table. It's just a normal <laughs> table, Chris. We can't have a table. Just drew a picture then, of a it's, table it's, in the dirt. It's, it's not your war table. It's our war table because we're all together on one for all. Yeah. No, we're not. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. So oh. to 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 set the scene at the moment. You guys would currently oh, be stationed guys. in a in the temporary barracks within Castle yeah, Never. Castle so yeah. there's not like a big grand war room or anything. No, no, You're I just in, no, no, in like no, a barracks like chamber around a table. Um, yeah, just chatting. Around. Yeah, there could be a table. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a metaphorical war table, Patrick. Let me dream. Can it be? Can it be like <laughs> shaped and carved like like the way the city looks? I hate and you. And like you've got uh, the, the main table. Area. The, the table is six feet long. Damn, that's a pretty big table. Table. So, yeah, just Google uh, <laughs> detend it. So let, you're saying he's gonna make the fir they're gonna make the first move either way, right? But what is their first move gonna be? Well, I would provoke violence, or because clearly their first move isn't gonna be to re to expose the fact that one of them's a dragon. So they're obviously gonna get try and get other people to fight for them. So that means there will be casualties if they're making the first move. I mean, Whereas uh, if I sneak in there and you know try and murder one of them, it turns out he is a dragon, then we've exposed him already. Without there being need for like people to actually do any fighting. But what if he's not? Well then he's dead. I mean yeah, he's not yeah, he's but... not a good guy. He's still <coughs> that doesn't matter. You... That doesn't matter. I've got a question for you. Are you a good guy? Who, me? Are you? I'm just You're a, a good prag person. Prag pragmatist. That's not pragmatic, that's just murdering it someone. Is. That's, it's that's the most the, logical way. That's, it's what I would call naughty at because one side and Kelben, evil on another. Kelben is a bad guy. He's He's been whispering stuff in Dagot's ear yes. all the time. We know this. But they can so be dealt with killing properly. him will help us but both ways. They can be dealt with properly within the, the confines of the law, not within no, your arbit just... you arbitrarily sticking your sword for his throat. I think we should have a contingency plan. What if they reject your terms? That's what we're here well, to do. Well, they are going to. That's well, they're why... going to reject the terms. That's, what but that's why about. my point is, if he's trying to avoid civilian casualties, that's not the way to do it, because they're not going to just sit around doing nothing. They're going to use their supporters to fight you, which means there will no, be civil most civilian of the, most casualties. Most of their supporters don't want to fight. I saw them over there the other day. They're not. Most of the troops over there don't look like they, they don't want to fight. Then if, if, if they, they have don't... a dragon, then exactly. Like, do they have I'm pretty sure at the end of last session we were going to use spells. I think we said that'd be a good thing as a contingency plan. You mean last then... night? Um. No, we talked about it out yesterday. Of Today, yeah. whatever. We said we... <laughs> I, I could use a spell on him. I forgot what it was. Dominate but... monster. Yeah, dominate daddy. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, and we'll see if he reacts to it. <laughs> yes. I've only got one spell, uh, spell slot for that, so I could I mean, use that. But even if even if he it did affect him some way, he's not guaranteed to react to it. I think my way is the only sure way. No, it's not. <laughs> I will say at this point you hear a knock on the door. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll open the door up. Um, one of the guards says, uh, "Mordai Vel, to see you, uh, Your Grace." And uh, Mordai will step forward. You've not seen him since, uh, well, Sang saw him last, um, way before all this kicked off. Um, but Mordai will step in, uh, bow graciously before you. Your grace, Mordai. an honor it is to serve you. Uh, you've clearly taken my uh, advice to heart and uh, successfully achieved all that I wished and more. Uh, well, yes, thank you. Or the uh, the hints in the right direction. Uh, I believe something about the position on the council and something about a treasury was what you were interested in. Yes, my old position. It's uh, it's yours. Once we take the rest of the city. Thank you. I just wanted to uh, come and see you in person. Congratulate you on your well, you haven't won yet, but your victory seems almost assured. You have uh, two thirds of the city on your side, and. Uh, 
Well, Dagot I... has very few options. Dagot. Can I interrupt? Sorry. Yeah. Um, is uh, is this the the day before, or is, has that happened yet? Have we been to sleep? So last night, uh, Tristan had his conversation on the bridge okay. with Dagot. Then you went to bed, and then this is the morning. Yeah. All right. Cool. Sorry. Crack on. Okay. Um. Well, it's not over yet. Uh, <laughs> Dagot is definitely under the influence of either both Kelburn and Emmerich. Um, he's not, he's trapped inside his mind, I could see it. It's not, he's not there. Um, so something, something's going on there. And I mean, I offered them pretty generous terms. A pension for Dagot and the ability to keep his holdings with no action being taken against him. Effectively a nice comfy retirement. Um, I, we, I believe that they are going to refuse these terms. Uh, well, I suppose the only way to know for sure is to go and see. Um, I'm, if they do, I'm sure we can think of something to uh, deal with them. Yes. Well, I, did we tell Mordai about the dragon? Uh, yes, you did, actually. I, I believe. Yes. Well, the main, sure, yeah. the main aim of the game here now is to uh, make this blue dragon reveal themselves. So we can take him down. <laughs> Well, Aye. it is uh, nearly dawn. You should probably get going. Aye. All right. Uh, Reed, what are you going to do? If I was to cast the spell magic right now, um, would anyone notice? Um, probably. Yeah. What are you trying to dispel? Um, whether uh, Mordai is like currently under some sort of, uh, uh, I don't know. He's like shape shifted into something else. Can I just, just try to spell magic. magic on him, basically? <clears throat> yeah, but I wouldn't want him to know that I'm purely going after him. Yeah. Um... Can I do that? Can I just shout a spell and see if it does anything <laughs> to anyone in the room? The spell would still be directed at him. Verbal, somatic, and material. So yeah, you you would have to make you would have to make noise, and there would be visuals. Um... Mm. With this spell. Alright. I'll um give it. You do it. Um <laughs> Okay, I just said I'd leave it, but yeah, no, I want to do it now. Oh me. <laughs> I mean you can you can go for it. Um can, we you, like You go and cast <laughs> You, 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 if you're if you're just casting it on his general person, not any specific thing on him, I will say you cast the spell on him, it washes over him, you just sort of like looks at you <laughs> i i understand the uh <laughs> your nervousness young calf but uh, i assure you i am i am who i who i appear to be you make me very nervous i have some magical items on me which um i'd rather you not dispel um, Who are they uh he uh, shows you i have uh, a ring of protection here's that you know, you, know, you know what a ring of protection is. I've got one as well. Uh, yeah, he says, uh, uh, I'll keep the rest to myself, but I, I assure you, I am who I appear to be. But Better be. We need to get to the... Uh, Can we use reason. insight to see if he's telling the truth? Uh, yeah, go for it. Oh, thanks. 27? Seems pretty truthful. We need to, he uh... seems very cunning and, and I mean, devious. that's because he is. <laughs> he's playing a game. Yeah, you're, so, well, you're all playing the game we're now. All playing the game. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the wheel. <laughs> no, I swear, now <laughs> do not even throw this man into the river. <laughs> right. Um, Is it the wagon wheel? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've not had any wagon wheels for like two weeks. Stop it. Uh, so I'd like to start making my way towards the bridge, please, Patrick. Yes, you make your way towards the bridge. What is everyone else doing? I'm gonna follow. I want to take Reed aside before. Yes. <laughs> Say, do you think you'd be up for helping me get across that river? Yeah. What do you need, babe? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't call me that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just came out. I'm just being. I just my misogyny came out as my father. He's just a proper misogynist. <laughs> and, uh, I've been like thinking about him a lot lately, and like it it's all right. Just I slipped. forgive you. I'm really sorry, mate. Oh, sorry, lady. Oh, <laughs> oh what do you want? Anyway, oh. I just need you to be able to cast invisibility on me. 
Yeah, that sounds right, mate. Yeah, I'll do that for you. Okay. Ooh. If no, oh, not yet. <laughs> no, oh, <sorry. laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you've you've got plenty of time. It lasts for an hour, so. I mean, I mean, all right, fair. You <laughs> just did it immediately. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh. never mind. Okay, that's fine. I'm invisible now. <laughs> Wouldn't uh, so you're... yet, but oh well. So you're heading. Are you well, you're doing now your I'm gonna plans? sneer. Stay, stay near the bridge for now, but like I will be yeah, ready. Yeah, around to... there. Yeah, like cool. near where I can see, but like mm -hmm. a bit further away. Uh, Reed and Dela, where whereabouts are you guys posted? If that's where Sang is. Not um... that you'd know that because I'm invisible. Yeah. I wishes I invis both of us, Dela, and we could hang out on the bridge together. <laughs> Just stand next to Dagger <laughs> while he's talking. Yeah, just have to Yeah, <laughs> join them. Um, <laughs> I'll probably stand like mixed into the crowd. I want to be like looking out for like anyone who's like might be like secretly on their side. Or, like, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, uh, in terms of a crowd, uh, most <coughs> sorry, most of the common people aren't like there at the moment. It's just like the oh, guards okay. would the guards would be the crowds. So there's there's like plenty of guards on either side of the bridge. But the common people are about doing. Their, they're not um, gathered here. I am um, okay. sitting uh, stand next to Tristan and be his muscle. Um, well, you know, last time uh, it's just the two people that go onto the bridge. You can stand at the far end and like be be ready, but. Uh, Oh, oh. Well, can I invis then? I want to be invis and be on the bridge. Uh, yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, so yeah, you want to invis yourself, which can I guess. I... Is it too yeah. late to retract a level two spell slot? Two yeah. level twos and I'll... just do one level three. Well, you'd have to just do the one level three anyway, because otherwise it would cancel out the first one. So yeah, I'll say I'll say it's fine though uh, to uh, just have level three to begin. Oh, I've got a lot of time for you, mate. Are you sure you don't want to be invis? <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming Dela's all got already gone at this point. Oh, okay, okay. specifically pulled you aside, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll say Dela will say you're over on the other side of the bridge with the with the guards and stuff. You see, this early in the morning, um, some of your supporters have come out to uh, man's back you, Tristan. Um, not everyone. <laughs> um, obviously, this it's a busy yeah. night. Busy night. Everyone's asleep. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all the music sure. I had going. <laughs> Uh, it's all yeah. the music I had playing. It just exhausted people out. Yeah, that, no, definitely. Concert. You were too. You rocked too hard. We ha also have Ulfgar on speed dial, FYI. Yes. Um. So yeah, I was I was I was saying the uh, the dwarves are all like ready by the skyship, just like in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Then I'll, I'll make I'll make my way onto the bridge then. Okay. Um. Dagult, uh, you see, is actually already there. He's beaten you to it. And uh, as you step like up to him, he's, uh, he probably would have been if you'd if you'd have been there early enough. But uh, he's uh, already there, and he just says, "You're late." We said dawn. It's dawn. I've been standing here for five minutes. Ah oh, well, I'm sure the exercise is doing you some good. So, have you had any thoughts or? Should I say, have Kelburn and Emmerich had any thoughts? They do not sway my mind. I am in control. Hmm. You sure about that one? I am, and I've been doing a lot of thinking since your impromptu attack on my rule. Mm, yes. you, should, you, should, you should know that for 12 years I have ruled this city. I have poured blood, sweat, and tears into rebuilding it. Not because I sought the crown, and he points with his, like, uh, walking stick to your crown, but because the city needed help. I know a fool when I see one. And though I see that your heart is in the right place, at the end of the day you are no more than an arrogant boy, and an outsider besides. You have no idea what it means to rule. Your vanity clouds your judgement. Hmm, yeah, that sounds like Kelburn speaking to me. I can see it in your eyes, you know, Dago. You're, you're not entirely in there, are you? Someone's trapped you inside your own mind. Which one is it? Is it Kelburn, Emmerich? Which one's the I dragon? will not see everything I have worked to build fall into the hands of a naive fool! Which one's the dragon, Dagult? Which one's whispering poison into your ear and your mind, corrupting your soul against itself? Which one is words, it? Your words only prove me right. 
Which you one clearly... is the dragon? You I do guess. not want. You don't want to hear me out, <laughs> because you know I'm right. Because it's not your words. Truly, boy, do you, do you do you truly think you are capable of ruling this city? Because you're not. You are not. Well, you know, did you think you were capable of ruling this city twelve years ago? I did, and I've it, and though Neverwinter has fallen on hard times, that does not give on. you the right to overthrow it. I'm not overthrowing anything. The people have acclaimed me. The nobility acclaim me. The crown acclaims me. Now, you know, I offered you a peaceful retirement, you know. You could spend the rest of your years just enjoying yourselves without the stress. The stress and the depravity and negativity that comes with ruling a city. And yet, somehow so desperate to cling on. And there's just something not quite right about what you're saying. Something that reeks of someone else. And I'll, I'll, ask, you... I'll ask you again, Daggle. And you're in there, I know you are. I saw it last night. I saw that struggle in your eyes. Which one of you, which one of them's the dragon? Go on. Hi, can I message Tristan? Yeah. It would drop in this. Ah. Uh, what, just message? Uh, yeah, still a spell. Bollocks. Is there any way I can cry, climb under the bridge and then, like, up it through, like, one of the cracks and touch uh, Dagbo? <laughs> uh, Dagbo isn't close enough to touch, um, but if you do want to go under the bridge and, like, sort of climb to a close close position, you can do. Like, close um, and within touching distance? No, it wouldn't. He's the, the bridge is quite wide and they're in the middle of it, so there's uh, okay, no on way. On the there? On the other side. Okay. Uh, Oh, so they're not with him. No, no. So imagine everyone is on like the far ends of the yeah, bridge, yeah. and it's just the two of them okay. in the middle. Aww. And the bridge, the, the bridge itself is like what 30, 40 feet wide, like across, and they're in the middle of it. So they're definitely not within touching. Can restoration work on someone that's charmed? Uh, possibly. We don't want uh, to but, use it. Um, uh, just while they're doing that as well, I I want to proceed with my plan now. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh. Heading down the river, like down this way. Okay. Then I'll cross like somewhere around here. Okay. So yeah, we'll say you're you're off doing that. Yeah. Um, Dagalt will um, raise his voice a little and say, "Here is your answer, boy. I propose a vote. You may have found the crown and rallied the support of the people for a night, but there are many still who know my true worth." Let the people decide their own fate. And he like very like gestures this to uh, to everyone. Yes, I do rather believe they have already. And it's then why not let it be proven? Well, it's, it's just curious that you've uh, all of a sudden changed your mind on desperately grasping for power. You seem to be uh, very reluctant to allow anyone but yourself have any say. So why the change of heart? Why all of the sudden would you gamble, um, gamble your uh... Tristan? Your... Yes. He all of a sudden, like the the walking stick, um, wavers and he like falls forward onto you. I I support him. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. Oh, that's twenty. Uh, you gather from the way he fell, uh, he was pushed. He was pushed. Read. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, didn't see this coming. Uh, Daniel takes 194 points of damage and immediately dies in front of him. Uh, um, as, soon as, as soon as this happens, he just like collapses, blood pouring out of him. Uh, he's, he's straight up dead. And uh, Kelvin across the bridge shouts, Traitor! He's murdered the Lord Protector! Quickly! Can I and they all begin rushing forward. Use Reviver for him. <laughs> Daggle. Um, roll initiative. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Do we all need to roll, do Uh, yes. Ooh. Get wrecked, Reed. <laughs> yeah, but you're like two miles away, so... <laughs> yeah. I don't think I had time to get that far. <laughs> I'm pretty quick. Yeah, Michael, you're, you're, you're a ways away. Am I still invisible, or did I get uninvis? No, no, you're still invisible. By the way, do we still have the hero piece stuff, or is that, like, expired? Oh, no. Should have done it last night. Do it. 
It was um, last night. Oh, we should have done it last night. We didn't do it. Can we, we have done it? I've got, got 11 temporary hit points right now, so we did it at some point. Yeah, no, I, I do as well. Yeah, like two nights ago. Yeah, that was two uh, nights ago. We didn't do it this Oh, is it? Uh, I mean, I would just assume that we're doing it every no, single time. No, we, we need to say it, otherwise it's just a bit meh. No, I, I, I'll allow a, 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 a 2d10 roll. See? What a generous oh, DM. I would too. No, because it does make sense that you'd, that you'd be doing it. Uh, oh, even better. I'm well. doing it literally every time. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it, it makes sense. We have been why, doing uh, it. Why I'm allowing it, fair. yeah. Uh, if you zoom out to 30, you'll Ooh. be able to see pretty much the whole thing. As you can see, I've had to cobble this together because there are no good bridge maps. Um, no, it looks fine. Reed, whereabouts would you have been? Uh, I wanted to be within... Where am I? Uh, on the far right, I just left all you guys there. It's a temporary position. Saying you'd be off map down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've disappeared. I wanted to be within listening distance, so I would have been around here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sang, you're up first, but you don't know what's going on because you're a mile down the down the river. That's fine. Uh, Am I far enough to, to cross the river yet? <laughs> we'll say you're like, yeah, you can you can start crossing the river now. Yeah, you're cool. Because my plan was to <laughs> head back to the bridge because I wanted to follow Calvin and Emmerich after the <laughs> after the bridge meeting. And you're so pretty fast, so you'll get yeah. there in a few rounds, but you'll definitely miss uh, the open. No worries. Uh, Reed, you're all up next. You are currently in biz, but obviously doing doing a thing will unend this. So wait, they've left, or are they are they are they, they there on the map? They are there on the map. They they are about to charge you. Essentially, on their turn, they are going to be running straight straight this way. Yeah, and, and we and think Calvin are going to charge as well. Um, looks like it. I mean, it's not their turn yet, but we think Calvin is most likely the the lizard man. Um, yeah, but like. <laughs> There's also like assassins around it. <laughs> Visible assassins. Yes. Likey. In fact, Reed, make a perception check for me. Because you would have potentially seen what's gone on or not. Ooh, I, I mean they would have <laughs> the one that stabbed him would have uninvised, right? Uh no, they haven't. But no one did. Really? Yeah. No. There, you, you you know oh, there are absolutely I'm... ways that they can put that one. There are? Uh yeah. Uh, I'll say on I, the third. I was not honestly. Aware of that. Honestly, read on a 13 perception check, all you saw was Dagult fall forward onto Tristan and then fall back dead. As far as you know, Tristan killed him. <laughs> as far as, in fact, as far as, as, far as, as far as most people go, Tristan killed him. I'll say Dela from the sidelines, seeing as you do have keen perception, I'll allow you to make a perception check as well. But everybody else thinks Tristan did it. You think Tristan did it. That's bullshit. On, an, on a nat 20, Dela is the only one to have perceived obviously you didn't see the assassins but you could see that it wasn't Tristan. Oh, so, okay. you, so you put <laughs> two and two together and assume not, so. and assume <laughs> someone else was he and Dela have and for some reason fucking Dela sees it and I don't. Uh -huh. <laughs> well he literally fell onto him. So he has elf eyes. He must have yeah and goggles. Let's not forget that. <laughs> it's, the, it's the cogos that have really done it. They do. They <laughs> give him advantage on perception too. checks. They literally give him would better sight. Oh, right. Oh, well, there you are. Hmm? Would I be able to guess how it was done? Wait. Um, I'll say on a nat 20. Uh, yeah. Um, you could see as the body fell, uh, two stab wounds uh, in his in his side. Reed, it's your turn. And you have not seen any assassins. You don't know anything about them. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what would Reed do if he didn't see anything? I suppose... Murder Tristan. <laughs> I think he would, with, honestly, I, if I thought Tristan had done it, I think I would withhold an action. I'd be that surprised that he did it. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck, Tristan? I thought you were <laughs> supposed to be good. Oh. Um, what action would you withhold? <clears throat> uh, shit. Can I just not do anything? Yeah, I think isn't that what you're That's realistically just, yeah. I wouldn't be I wouldn't do anything. I'd just be like totally in shock. <laughs> so I'm just gonna Yeah, not do anything. That seems enough. pretty dumb, but yeah. <clears throat> no, it, it makes sense given the circumstances. Uh, it's Kelvin's turn next. He's going to run up to there and use a sorcery point to increase the range on a spell and cast hold person on you, Tristan. So you can make, I believe it's a wisdom save, which again, because of Heroes, we shall have advantage on. Uh, yeah. 
Um, question. Yes. Oh, no, no, because he's a dragon, isn't he? Never mind. It doesn't matter. We don't know okay. that, Tristan. <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's not likely to be anything else, so... I mean, I'm fine. Uh, yeah. He's changing uh, tune now. <laughs> the whole person has no effect. Uh, it's now the enemy's turns. So, obviously, it's going to take them a little bit to actually get to you. Uh, At least you. they're here. <laughs> you don't know that I'm not there. <laughs> Does he even know you're invisible? No, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, en the enemy's turn is just a full dash uh, in your direction. Uh, Daylight, your, your turn. Um, so, was I, like, off screen? Um, I'll say you were probably just off, um, but in that general uh, area. Okay. And I'll say Rogar uh, was with you. Okay, I'll move there. Uh, yeah, I can't really how, do anything. How, how much movement was that to get to there? That was 60, so I used my movement and my bonus action. Oh, wait. I think I've run through the wooden things. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to run through the wooden uh, things. <laughs> I'll say if you wanted to, like, run to the edge and misty step across, you could, uh, but that, was... that would be a misty step. Oh, I was going to, like... Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> I mean, even if I missed this, I wouldn't be in range of anything, so... Like, yeah, I guess I'll just use everything to move. I guess that's... Yeah, Dela, your turn done. <clears throat> uh, Tristan? Um, well, I got a nat 20 on perception, didn't I? Uh, yes. So, the second I'm just looking around. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were going to revive him, however, how much... Yeah, it's up to you if you, if you still want to do that. Well, these assassins are still around, right? Uh, as far as you know, you can't see them. Okay, well, I'm just gonna quickly, like, look around. And I mean, it's Tristan's first instinct is to use a river fight on him. I think that's what he'd do. Okay. Because, like, you know, he's... <laughs> why, why would he kill him to then bring him back alive, you know? Is that what you'd, you'd try, attempt to do? The sick pleasure of killing him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, uh, I use river fire on a uh, daggle. Okay, go ahead and roll a charisma check for me. Straight charisma. Dagult is an old man, on the on the cusp of death anyway. Uh, however, he is brought back. Still, on, still just on the ground. Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna pick him up and run. <laughs> uh, you can get 15 feet uh, that way. Uh, yeah, and I'm I, as I'm running, I'm gonna wave a, like carrying <clears> his body. <throat> like, I'm just gonna wave to the others and be like, and like shout out, Kelvin sent assassins. Quick. Uh, make a make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh. See? Not bad. Okay. That is pretty good. Um, okay. Like, yeah, they're pretty <clears throat> persuasive. Although, I did think he just stabbed him. Like, <laughs> they're pretty persuasive there. Um, you hear, you hear Kelvin shout, Emmerich! Stop! You actually did it. He's gonna start making his way around. With people in have, have I completely lost my turn from the last one now? Yes. Uh, well, you, yeah, you see, like, if you told me what you were holding, then I could have yeah. given no, it to you, but, uh, yeah. He was too uh, shocked. Pretty much. Drag a bunch of guards onto the bridge. We'll leave the, uh, back boys. So, top of the round, Sang, you're still running. <laughs> uh, Reed, it is back to you now. And okay, I'm gonna session guys. <laughs> uh, I've, heard Trist <laughs> I've heard Tristan say these things, mm -hmm. and I believe Tristan. I, I wouldn't think that it would do this kind of stabbing and then flinging bodies around and just like total <laughs> disregard for human life. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be like oh okay and i'm gonna climb down here and just sort of stay out of sight but watch it unfold okay make a, percep <laughs> make a perception check for me that's the one out down there <laughs> <laughs> there's someone down there just like... <laughs> yeah. what the fuck are you doing are you on our team bro <laughs> uh yeah uh hold on let me i should make a perception check for them um oh wait no you're invisible aren't you yeah. yeah, so never mind. Uh, you do see... Actually, no, you wouldn't. Never mind. I don't see anything. Never mind. No one sees anything. anything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they're, they're invisible, you're invisible, no one can see shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so you climb down um, beneath the, the bridge. Well, I don't want to climb down, I just want to be... I still want to see what's happening on the bridge. Okay, so you're like hanging onto the lip. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but securely and... Um, hanging and... with traps. Hanging <laughs> with traps. <laughs> um, by the way, did, uh, Patrick, play. did we yeah. miss Rogar's turn? Oh, I forgot to roll initiative for him. Uh, oh, do you want me to Rogar. do it? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, we'll say Rogar was so gobsmacked by the fact that he thought you killed someone that he skips the first round anyway. Uh, okay. But we'll add him to the initiative starting. I'm so glad that, that so. everyone has such faith in my, uh, my character. And then... It's not about faith. It's about the fact that they literally saw him <laughs> fall on you and then fall back dead. Yeah, if you can roll uh, initiative for uh, Rogar for me, Adam. There you go. Mm -hmm. 16. Uh, so, and so that that's your turn then, because you... Just making way to there. Um, or is anything you'd like to do? Can I message um, Adela? Again, it would drop in Viz. Um, oh. I believe he might be out of range as well. Uh, he is. No worries, I'll just linger here then. Okay, do you want to hold an action to do anything? Yeah, I will hold an action. What would that be? Oh, sugar. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm not going to anything i'm just gonna be here and look around see what's happening see watch okay. it all unfold I'm gonna watch tristan get murdered <laughs> i can support that kelvin continues to rush the bridge the enemy also continue to rush the bridge i just realized sorry i can fly so can i just like hover over the edge but yes you can oh. yeah instead of hanging i can just like, yeah yeah yeah, Reed starts it's... hanging onto the bridge and then realizes, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. I don't need to do this. <clears throat> yeah, we'll say you're yeah, you're floating above this whole thing, invisible, just watching. Um, yeah. That is the enemy's turns. They have 60 feet sprinted and they are now on Tristan's tail. Uh, Rogar's turn. Okay. Um... Again, we'll say he was technically off map, so it'd probably be like 20 feet or 30 feet just to even That's get. That's fog cloud. Get onto the his the, ultimate the ability. <laughs> so we'll see. He's got no, from there. He's got no movement. Oh, uh, let me just have a look at his spells real quick. Oh yes, perfect. I'll cast fog cloud there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, gonna cast fog cloud. <laughs> Does it have 120 feet? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me get the uh, the fog cloud. It's a 20 foot radius, but just uh, double check that for me. Yes, yeah, 20 foot. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Rogar's activated his ultimate ability. Thanks, Rogar. Yeah. Yep, he's pressed R. <laughs> uh, I don't know what game you press R in. Is that League? League, yeah. 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 There's a lot of games you press R in, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly it's to reload. <laughs> but, um, he uh, doesn't need to do that, I guess. Fog Cloud. I'm going to go with the Lightning Sphere, because it's Rogar. But, uh, and uh, do, give me the uh, the hun give me the, the 120 foot. Uh, yeah, from the front. Boom, right there. Cloud is fogged. But I guess that's Rogar done? Yep. Okay, Daylight, you're up. Okay, well, I was going to cast Darkness, but since that's there now, I don't. Yes, yeah, it's done the uh, same darkness job. Darkness and Fog Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> dark Fog Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dark and stormy fog. It's located entirely okay. on that one point on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I mean. How far can I go with like all these people in the way? Uh, again, it'd be it'd be a struggle to get through them all, uh, but you could also just misty step past them. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to waste the spell slot if we could be fighting a dragon. <laughs> I feel like uh, I can go like here. Then. Basically, every person you move through is is five feet off. Okay, so, so normal yeah. movement can get me here. I'll say you'd lose ten ten feet getting through them. What, what if I like went like down like here though and then through? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, and then uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to keep moving. Um, huh? Well, you can bonus action dash. Oh yeah, I can. So I can go sixty. <laughs> so yeah, a full a full movement action bonus action that would get you to. Uh, it was one more forward, one more forward. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Now it's day last turn done. Tristan, you're up. Okay. Um, you can't see anything. 
I just fog. I, I, oh wait a sec. I, I just remembered something I wanted to do. Uh, so I'll go back uh, thirty feet. Uh, okay, that's there. And I wanted to cast detect magic. Okay, detect magic has a radius, I believe, range even. Um, just double check the range for me. It can detect magic within thirty feet of me. So no magic within thirty. Feet. Yeah, I just think if I think there's invisible assassins around, yeah. I want to. I was gonna say I'm also aware that you've got your um oh, yeah, your, your your sense that senses. That's only a ten feet. It is only ten feet. So. Yeah, um, but also I was, I was to be fair. I'll say you would know that detect magic wouldn't detect invisibility. See invisibility is its own spell. Oh, okay. so doing uh, that would I'll, be useless. I'll go back. Uh, yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for wasting our time, Dima. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you do have your your blind sense, which I'm I'm, I'm aware of. But right now you've not picked up any assassins <clears throat> okay now it's Tristan's turn okay well uh I know I can't see anything but I am gonna kind of go in the direction of where Daggle got hit mm -hmm. so here okay uh, Emric is gonna make an attack of opportunity with disadvantage against you uh yeah, misses yep. then... well what's your armor class without your shield uh uh that's a good question. Let me have a I look. Believe it, I believe it is 19 without your shield, in which case it would hit. It did say your shield isn't out. The yeah, arrow catching shield, isn't it? No, Two, I got it No, it's the shield of returning, which oh, is gives a plus, plus three. one to AC. Total yeah, it's a plus, plus three, three, so my know, AC is 20. Plus three How is it 20? I have gold and plate armor, ring of protection. Ah, ring of protection. You have a ring of protection? Yes. 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 <laughs> you shouldn't. Yeah. I've had it for ages. But it's it's um wouldn't that give you too many things that you're yeah, really, yeah that's the like, thing it's like, that, that like, yeah that's that, oh God, that, that that that's too many um i thought i thought something one of these things was something you don't have to attune to the ring definitely you do have to attune so you have the ring the crown I, and your gauntlets i'm confused you shield need it? i i thought no, you had doesn't need it. The, the, i thought you had the sword uh belt, the belt the crown. and the crown and so that's so that's yeah, your three in which case you don't be. have ring of protection so your armor class is actually 22, oh, yeah, uh, right. which means the attack does hit. So I'll let you put that down. Wait, the armor class is 22? Uh, yeah, but without his shield, which is on his back, it's a 19. Oh, so okay. it hits. And you take nine points of damage as you push over to grab that one. Yes. <laughs> I'm confused about this ring of protection. It's, why is it there if I've not been using it? I don't know. Hmm. Probably had it at one point this and got to take it off. Yeah. Is oh well, okay yeah um uh, oh uh yes can I uh grab Daggle again I guess yeah you can make and you're just gonna keep keep trying to run well yeah I'm not gonna sit around here <laughs> okay, you can make it to there so you can make the ten feet okay and then so that's can I bonus action dash or is my action to pick him up um no I can say you can like bonus action pick him up action dash. Which would get you another 15. Feet. Okay. With Daggle. I'll move yeah. it in a second. Alright, I'm here. Uh, By the way, if, if two people help carry someone, does it like speed it up? Um, yeah, I'll say if two people help carry it, I'll just let it, let it be uh, normal normal speed. Um, however, it would be say you and Tristan wanted to run, you would have to hold your action to move, and then on Tristan's turn, you'd both move. Uh, I see, yeah. Um, yeah, that's Tristan's turn done. Emmerich will chase after you make another couple strikes hit yeah so you take that amount of damage 25 yeah <laughs> again emrick is just a, a blaze of fury as he is attacking um allies turn let's see oh it's about to clash Go, clash of clans. Well, to be fair, it's gonna be hard it, to like distinguish. Yeah, like, it's, you know, yeah. especially in the fog cloud. Everyone's just gonna be killing uh, <laughs> them, uh, themselves. Uh, yeah, it's I almost just... like we should have some color themselves. Oh. <laughs> like like uh, uh, blacks and greens or something like that. I that was, was gonna help. I was just gonna. Can you put like a dot on? Yell to the others as they passed and kind of just be like, "Never mind, it's too late now, isn't it?" <laughs> well, they're all yeah. rushing. I mean, what would you yeah. try and yell? I, I I just yell at like Dur like any of the named ones be like like you know Durham and stuff and I'd be like 
Kelburn is the, the target. He's the one controlling everything. Just watch out for the mm -hmm. like. Don't, you know, don't kill too many of the men. <laughs> They're yeah, being I mean, misled. Sure it's Kelburn, though. You, you know. <laughs> No one, no one, uh, shut up, Sang. You're not even here. <laughs> uh, no one um, wants to kill their their brethren. These are all men of Neverwinter. Um, yeah. Uh, as, yeah. As they run into the the fog cloud, uh, they they do take your words um, in hand. Um, okay. Um, Sang, you're still yes. running. Yep. Reed, your turn. Okay. Can I move, if I cast a spell, can I move 25 feet? Uh, well, yeah, you can move 25 feet and then cast the spell, or, or vice versa, whichever you'd prefer. Nice. I'm going to try and give it a go. I'm going to uh, cast... Um, remember, I'm at sort of eye level with the, the bridge floor. So, like, okay. I'm peeping. I'm mm -hmm. peeping. So you're just yeah. more... Although, if you're invisible, do we even need to peep? Uh, well, that's... It's a, a scaredy hobbit, uh, half me. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cast dominate monster on uh, on Kelvin. Mm -hmm. See what happens. It's a wisdom save. Wisdom. It must be wise. Gonna save? Does that mean he is definitely the monster? <laughs> yeah. I wow. mean, if he is the dragon, he can just legendary. Um, what's what's your spell save, by the way? Uh, it's like eighteen, I think, yeah, or seventeen. I don't know, seventeen. But I wish 10. I lied and said 17. eighteen. Uh, he is going to legendary resistance and not be dominated. He is the dragon. Well, I will say you read. What, how, how, how can why, why can't he resist? Why is he resisting my domination? I will say yeah. Read in this moment as you uninvis and try to cast dominate a monster on this guy. It should have worked, but it didn't, which can only mean that this is the the guy you're on that you're after. Um, but yeah, any yeah. any 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 movement. Uh, can I cast any more spells? Uh, if it says bonus action and it's second level or below, then yes. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna. Oh, can he? Did he notice? Uh, yes. Can you see me? Make a stealth check. If if you if you if you're planning on moving immediately down, I'll say there's a chance he might not have spotted. You, if that's what you. I was gonna say I was peeping. I was at eye yeah. level with. Him. Uh, either way, yes. I was gonna say still make a subject. Twenty-five. He is not. He doesn't. Hasn't seen that it's you. But he has felt and a spell effect to try and affect his. Okay, he can feel it in his balls. Is what you're saying. <laughs> he can feel it in his plums. Yeah, his dragon plums. <laughs> yeah, his scaly plums. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast invisibility again. Uh, you can't. Oh, it's level two. It's an action. You just use your action to do dominate one. Ah, very, very good. Um... Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna party inspire Tristan. I'm gonna sing a little song. Uh, song. You Come can't. Really. You need to be able to see him, and he's uh, there's, a, there's a big fog cloud. I'll say you can't really party inspire anyone from where you currently are. I'm gonna just linger down here and see what happens. I'm gonna hold a bardic inspire action. Um, when you say linger down here, are you going beneath the bridge, or are you just sort of staying where you are, like right on the edge? Staying where I am, peeping, <laughs> stealthily, looking for traps. Okay. Uh, Kelvin's turn. Uh, Kelvin goes invisible. Oh, you invisible bitch! And yep, he is out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Hell yeah, baby! The thing disappeared. Oh, I know it's there. Oh, the fog cloud. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Either way. Uh, Armies are clashing uh, amidst the fog cloud. In the mess and confusion, no one can really tell who's on whose side, and uh, you just hear a bunch of death um, within the sphere. It's Rogar's turn. Uh, okay, right. Um... The the two sides have officially clashed within the uh, fog cloud as well. No one, no one has any idea what the fuck's going on. Everyone's just killing everyone because no one knows who's on whose side. Right. Uh, seeing as uh, Tristan is out. I'm gonna fly to here. Rogar's gonna fly to here, and mm -hmm. fog cloud's gonna drop. Mm -hmm. um, I can fly without. Oh, oh, are you saying you're dropping it? Yeah, he's dropping it. Okay. Drop it like it's hot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> can I cast banishment on Emmerich? Uh, what's the range on 60 banishment? Sixty feet. He's within sixty. He's within sixty. Oh, he he passes it. 
Oh, he I'll passes? Um, yeah, he passes. Oh, yeah, no, we drop. No. Nice. Okay, Emric succeeds. I guess that's Rogar's turn. That's right. Yeah, Daylight, your turn. Okay, uh. I guess I'll. I'm gonna help, uh. Move Daggle to safety. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wanna take him off Tristan's hands, you can just move him um... 15. Or just pass him to the soldiers or, behind me. <laughs> yeah, or you, or you can wait and move him with Tristan 30 on Tristan's turn. Okay, I'll use my... Wait, so can I... Wait. So because I, you know, I can like, move three times, so like, <clears throat> if I used an action to like give him a potion, would I still be able to help move him next turn? Like, um, don't even. Yeah, I'll say... Mm. To be honest, I'm about to give him to the soldiers behind me so I can fight Emery. Oh. So... I mean, um, well, Daylight doesn't know this. Alright, true, true. He could ask me. I'm so right, say, I am right next to him. Yeah, but you're in the middle of a, <laughs> a, 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 a sticky situation. I am in a sticky uh, situation. Yeah, I'll say if you wanted to, like, hold your um, bonus action, you could. Uh, but, you, yeah, you want to use your action to give him a potion. Uh, yeah, I just... I want to, I'll just make sure... Uh... I'll give him a greater healing potion. Uh, 44 plus 4 then, please? 17. And then you want to hold your like bonus action and movement to run when it's Tristan's turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, now it's Tristan's turn. <laughs> I just realized right. you both rolled the same thing. Like, yeah. uh, uh, like, even if like Tristan gives him to a soldier, would I be, like, still run with the soldier like carrying him? Like, yeah, I'll soldier. say uh, you can, with the soldier's help, book it 30 with... All right, I'll uh, I'll hand Daggle over, mm -hmm. and then draw my sword and shield and face Emmerich. Mm -hmm. Can I actually attack Emmerich or? Uh, yeah. All right. Um. All right. Before, Again, this, before... this man fully believes that you killed Daggle. Before I, uh, before oh, I. Uh... <laughs> wait, wait, wait a sec. When I give Daggle the potion, would he not get up? Like... Um, he would. He's still an old man. Yeah, but would Emmerich right. not see it? Like... Uh, yeah. Well, maybe not actually. Hold on. There's, there is a, a lot going on. Yeah, I mean, we're down for your wheel, so. Perception. 18. He would. And yet, he still seems angry towards. I'm just gonna turn. I'm gonna turn towards. I I'm just gonna. I'm gonna turn him all to, around towards Emmerich. <laughs> um. You know, uh, sword and shield. I like, just sort of like facing off them. Uh, I'm just going to be like, Emmerich, listen to me. Now, if you believe that we caused you harm in you the are, past... You, you, he does not give you this much time to speak. I'll, right. I'll give you that much. Okay. I'll just... I guess I'll he's, just fight. He, yeah, he's constantly hacking and slashing away. Well, we'll, we'll say you can be you can be speaking as you're fighting, but you still yeah. need to be actively fighting. Yeah, no, I'm actively fighting. Yeah. But like... Because um, I, I, like Tristan's main thing is stopping everyone on this bridge from slaughtering each other. Mm -hmm. um, so far, only two people have died. Only two people. What, Daggle twice? <laughs> uh, no, two, two of your soldiers from your side of uh, Bit the Dust. Ah, okay. Um, right, in which case then, uh, hang on. Can I I jump over, I use a water wheel to jump over, em over, over Emmerich? Yep. To here? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. So, I think uh, you make an attack as you do that, right? I do, yes. <laughs> so this is, yeah, use your action to make an attack on a creature in reach as you land. So, and I jumped over him. <laughs> so it says, I deal, I deal an extra 1d10 slashing damage for each 5 feet you've jumped in the air. Well, yeah, I just jump over him, so I use most of my movement to jump over him. <laughs> Um, so, 3d10 if jumping 15 feet up, then 15 feet back down, aka a full 30 feet of movement. Yeah. So, I'll do that. Yep. Um, and then he must succeed on the strength save or be not prone. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, uh, so let's... Uh, he succeeds. Oh, yeah, so he succeeds the strength save, that's fine, but let me roll the attack. Where's my sword gone? Big that 20. 20. 20, uh, hits, and that's, uh... Give me the give me the total Seven. damage. Thank you. Okay. Emmerich was pretty good, I recall. Thirty-seven points yes. of damage to Emmerich. Sang um, As I no. no. <laughs> as <laughs> yes. I land and I jump over Emmerich to like get some distance, you know, get myself out of like the sort of like squabble of soldiers going on around there. 
Uh -huh. uh, I'm just gonna yell and I'm gonna be like, men of like you know I can't actually yell currently because my throat is killing me. Um, yes, you know, we'll, we'll say you yell. Uh, like men of Neverwinter, cease this bloodshed. The Lord Protector lives. You have been betrayed by his snakes of advisors. Cease fighting. You are all people of Neverwinter. Cease this bloodshed. It Again, is... I'll say make make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, they sort of hold off a minute, but they're not necessarily backing down. You do hear a call um, from the crowds. Shout! Don't listen to him. Dagult. Kill the kill the traitor. Dagult. And that, 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 that's about that's about as much as you get. On okay. Your, unfortunately. All right. Um, Emric's turn. Uh, again, filled with blind rage, he is going to uh, again try and disarm you. This time, going for your sword. It's uh, a strength save, yeah. Well, 20 Misses. doesn't hit, no. uh, so we'll pump another attack in. Miss. Another miss. So you don't need to make any strength saves, because you just you just block them. Yeah, go on then. Uh, Tristan, make a wisdom save for 20 succeeds. Uh, you feel Emric's uh, magic try and infiltrate your mind, but you shrug it off. Okay. I don't think... Okay, yeah, fair. Uh, Sang, your turn. You are still running. Reed, your turn. <laughs> really good session, guys. <laughs> hey, it's, you, you, you were the one who said, I'm going to do a big long flank. And I was like, all right. You can never for the archer <laughs> battle ever again. <laughs> when I, when no, I no, I can still do that. <laughs> when I heard the shout, an archer. <laughs> yes. Um, from uh, the crowd, mm -hmm. from, I'm assuming it was from Kelvin. Oh, yeah. Um, make, yeah, make a perception to find out yeah. where it was. Go for it. Right. I'll say he right. is invisible, and there's a lot going on, so you'd have to roll pretty high. Oh, well, there you go. I uh, know. That's pretty high. Not 20. My elf, my I'm, my sh I'm showing you. you see the, I am, I am, I am, sh I am showing you. If I dispel magic, I do a dispel magic on this bitch. Uh, what's the range on dispel magic? <laughs> it's uh, 120 feet. Then absolutely you can. Um, oh, hang on, I want to dispel his invisibility but his his real form yeah for now you'd only be able to do his, his invisibility you can't dispel all effects in one go it'd just be you'd Aww. have to pick the invisibility effect in four. you could turn him into a giant invisible dragon <laughs> 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 uh, but you can you could i could polymorph him but um it'd be on a dis disadvantage roll i think yeah because he's not willing yeah if you want to cast the spell match to uninvis him yeah, I'll do that. Okay. You you do that successfully. You see me? Uh make another stealth check. Does he look like he's looking at me? Um well he's looking everywhere. Okay. Uh he does see you. On on that on that check. He transforms to a dragon and eats you. <laughs> he's not transformed yet. But you do you do still have movement and bonus, and you can now see the because the fog cloud is gone, you can now see see the, the battlefield. Uh, I'll bardic inspire, inspire... Actually, it's just in low on health. I know that. Obception. Uh, yeah, we're obception. Oh, yeah. Ten. Can't necessarily see. There's a lot going on. I'll heal I'll heal word him at level two. Level two. Oh, thanks. Go for it. Uh, throw a two healing word on soon. Uh, and then you've got movement if you want to move it. That's anywhere. actually really good. Yeah, not bad. So, uh, That's 11 good. points of healing uh, to you. Um, Alright, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go under the bridge and try and fly the other side. Mm -hmm. At least fly under it. It's like yeah, I'll say if you yeah if you want to go there, we'll just say we know we we know you're under the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Reed, what are you doing on the bridge? <laughs> oh, no, 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 we, we know, we know. <laughs> Jump yeah, for those um... soldiers trampling you. Cool. It is now Kelvin's turn. He's seen you go under there. Um, but I'm gonna run, he's a little bitch. He's done with this shit. He's falling into my trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the enemy's turn. Uh, it's on. all planned out. <laughs> I knew exactly that this was going to happen exactly this way. You know, you know <laughs> guys, I've made a dragon actually flee from us. That's my yeah, technically. Yeah. Um, flapping it. 
Tristan, I'm gonna get you to make one more perception check, no, persuasion check with disadvantage for me. You have temporarily stopped the bloodshed. They were about to potentially attack one another. However, they are resisting for now. But everyone's still very hostile. No one's actually attacking. Even, but, even Emmerich. Emmerich may still be. But he's obviously under some kind of my bending effects. Um, Rogar's turn. So Rogar, what would he do? Again, you can see that the combat isn't actually kicking off. There's a couple of dead bodies around where Durham is standing, but um, this line right here... Oh, wait, can I... This line. Basically in between, yeah. yeah. In between these two forces. Um, they are ready to kill one another, but not actually killing them. <laughs> Rogar tries and banishes Emmerich again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go for it. Does Emmerich still look like he's about to attack? Or like, yeah, he looks he looks hostile. All right. Uh, yeah, use banishment on Emmerich. Mm -hmm. Again, please. Oh, can I do it at a higher level? Or I don't think it makes a difference. Does it not make a difference? I mean, you can double check that, but I'm pretty sure. Doesn't it, it just banish more people if you're doing it? Oh yeah, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of fifth level or so higher, you can banish. You can target <laughs> one. Uh, <laughs> Hola, mi amigo. One. Mi amo, Emmerich. Yeah, 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 it's just target extra things. Okay, yeah, level three spell slot, banishment uh, on yeah. Emmerich. He fails. He's off. He's good. He's got a legendary resistance. What? Wait, what? Yep. Who is? This? Who is? This? Two dragons. <laughs> Oh boy, it's two dragons! <laughs> you are now <laughs> unsure as to who the fuck is the dragon because both of them have legendary resistance. No, it's still Kelvin. Shit. Sure. Is there I'm a still 100% sure. Or is that legendary like, things that like... There might be like other things that can... Yeah, to, yeah. Daylara is 100% right. Other things oh than God. dragons have... It's, it's old it's Marge. Awesome. She's back. <laughs> uh, Daylar, your turn. Um... I think I'll I'll stick near Daggle, like just in case the invisible assassins come back, because I should be mm -hmm. able to sense them. Good thinking. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in that case, you're just gonna hang around, I guess, and put, like hold an action to attack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tristan, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna sort of like cast a disdainful gla like glance at em Emmerich, mm -hmm. and sort of just like. Ignore him, basically. And mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna sort of, you know, um, again, sort of like yelling out across the bridge, you know, Men of Neverwinter, you have all been deceived. Emmerich and Kelvin, bending and twisting the Lord Protector's mind by foul magics not before seen in this city and not used in fair and noble places like Neverwinter. I'll say that's that, as much as you get. Okay. Alright. Do I have to roll like to do... Can I just um, bonus action to keep talking? I mean, the thing is, you're, you're actively getting attacked as you're saying this. This is... If, if, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, no. you, don't, you don't have to attack back, but I'm just giving you the option. Like, that's still as much as you'd be able to get out in six seconds. But oh, if you okay, wanted right. to do anything while you were speaking, then you can. Sure. Do you need me to roll persuasion on that one, or no? Uh, no. Everyone seems. Are oh, you rolled enough high persuasion checks that everyone is sort of on your side at this? Okay. Cool. Um. So I can still attack, yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Cool. Um. A bonus action shield of faith for myself, please. Mhm. Mm so concentration twenty four AC. Okay. So. And and mm -hmm. then I turn on to Emmerich and mm -hmm. I use that one charge thing for the uh. Two charges to double my attacks. Okay, so you make four attacks? Yep. Because they all need to be made against a single target. Yeah, so... yeah. each attack deals an action. Yeah. Uh, I don't <laughs> think I can put Divine Smite on because that's an action, so... Oh, I know it's not, is it? Divine Smite's just a uh, thing. You can, Yeah, you can always pump Divine Smite in. Alright, I'm going to pump a Divine Smite into the first attack. Okay, go for it. Is this just a re first level? Uh, yes. That misses. Well. Fourteen misses. Okay. But but the divine smite carries over anyway. Yeah. yeah. This is. That's one of the well, that's, soldiers to be <laughs> And just roll just roll the last one just just so we know the, the four attacks. Uh, Twenty. So seconds. I will also pump another divine smite into the second one. But okay. Uh, uh, so go ahead and roll. So this is this is a divine this is a level one divine smite for the nat twenty. So seventy six from the first. 
and then uh, you were putting another Divine Smite into the second? Yeah, a level 2 Divine Smite into the second attack. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's a 10. Well, 12, sorry. Plus the D10. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's 2 D10, isn't it? Uh, no, it's just 1. Is it just 1? Oh, it's yeah. Full. Read. In fact, hold on. Is it read me a troll into the bridge? Um, yes. In the beneath... Place. A bunch of assassins. Beneath the bridge, <laughs> uh, at this point, because their uh, invis will be fading, two assassins beneath the bridge are going to throw daggers at you, Reed. Assassino! Assassino! <laughs> I'll say, you shout this, but aren't heard. <laughs> uh, but Reed, uh, bam bam. Uh, first one misses, second one hits. Uh, in fact, they, these would both be with advantage because this is as they. Uh, We're immune to poison, this. though, at the minute, aren't we? Like, you are immune yes. to poison. Yes. Uh, yes. So. <coughs> 11. Oh, wait, just the first one. Miss. Wait, what the hell? Zero. No, I guess that, that, that doesn't make four, sense. Roll D4, 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 D4. There we go. There so, take 4 plus 7 plus 16 plus 14. Which Sorry. is. 41. It is 41. Damn. Sean, you beat me on a calculator by a split second. Good job, Sean. Sean is better than a calculator. What do I win? <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, die this session. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not that Dale ever dies, because it's, it, it's Sean. He doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, he just uh, finds archers. Yeah, you take 41 <laughs> points of damage as um, assassins attack. Uh, Tristan, you are also attacked by assassins. Little assassin bitch. The fuck? Who, again, this is on their turn as they uninviz because their invis only lasted for a limited amount of time. But both of these will be made with advantage. Uh, both hit. 22 and doesn't. Only 22 one hit does. Oh yeah, sorry, 20, 22 doesn't, but 24 yeah. does. Which means you'll take the, the, the last damage, um, whatever the, so four points of piercing, yeah. plus the... Yeah. Uh, Poison immunity is so good. Yeah. Yeah, this, honestly, Hero's Feast is a broken spell, which is why I gave it to you. <laughs> uh, plus the 19 the points of sneak attack damage. I'm immune to Poison regardless. And uh, cool. I, I should point out to That's the good. people, the people up top. Uh, the, these, are, these are where the these are where the two assassins appeared from, and they shot at Tristan, and then immediately as they shot, dropped back down. So though all the assassins are on the low ground rather than the high ground. Uh -huh. Just to confirm that. Um, but that does everyone is, see this? <laughs> it is now Reed's turn. Yes, Rogar would. Okay. Uh, Rogar would, yeah. And I'll say, Dale, if you want to make a perception check, because it's you, go ahead. Oh, thank you. This, right. is what it, this is what it pays to... Uh, yeah, Dale, you also would have seen them, like, appear and then drop down. Okay, can I shout, like, assassins are under the bridge? Uh, yes, you can, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Dale. <laughs> no, it's, it's good, it's good. I mean, apparently, I'm the only one who saw them, so... <laughs> um... So, yeah, these two assassins have appeared beneath the bridge with you, um... I just go underneath the bridge, <laughs> and then dimension door away. You can absolutely dimension door away. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Counter spell. I was gonna. Say, I think they have counter spell, but I'm just gonna double check that. Uh, yes, they do, and they're just gonna counter oh. spell. They're gonna count. They're gonna counter spell your uh, your teleportation away, which means you only have movement and bonus left. What are you doing? Uh, I'm still flying. You are still flying. So I'm gonna. These guys are currently like hanging from the top of the bridge. Oh, they real bitches, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly here. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Then ascend. Yep. Do that as well. So we'll say you're now like in line with the, the you're, like above the bridge, unless you don't want to be. Yeah, above it. I'm yeah, gonna okay. announce to the soldiers, listen friends, family, Tristan is the rightful king. Elvin and Emric are your enemies. That's about as much <laughs> as you get in, but I'll say make a persuasion very quickly. <laughs> I'll say make a make a persuasion check. It is you read, so you'll probably be rolling incredibly well. Yep, there we go. Yes. Um yes, so you've said that to them and they seem to be on your side. I believe well, that's yeah. you done, unless you want a bonus action. <laughs> I want to buy the inspire one of the shit guards. <laughs> <laughs> like, die for me! <laughs> die for your king! I mean, 
You can only Bardic Inspire the enemy. Well, well they're not the enemy anymore because they're not actually attacking. But you can Bardic Inspire. You can Bardic Inspire Emmerich or Kelvin. Is <laughs> <laughs> this guy on my team? This guy here. Every, as far as you know, everyone apart from these two. I can inspire this guy. <laughs> he, he's too far. He's too far, unfortunately. No! He needs to be within. It's sixty feet. Um, which guy, sir? Oh yeah, yeah. You can fucking spy him. Inspire that guy. I'm gonna be like. Dude. And what are you gonna What are you gonna say to him? Be like, yeah, Kelvin, Emric are your enemies. Stop them. Arrest them. They okay. must. You must attest. No, they must be. Ah, they must stop. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> That, that's enough. On, on a 29 persuasion check, that is enough. Um, okay, it, well, it is. Kel it, unfortunately, it's Kelvin's turn now, and he is going to teleport himself and Emmerich away. Oh, bitches. Three, Can I shower that guy two, again? Like, you're a counter spell! Counter spell! Counter spell! Counter spell! They're gone. That's fair. Was I allowed to counter spell? Yeah, yeah, of course you were allowed right. to counter spell. I was giving oh, you the 3 2 it, 1 count countdown. For you. I'll say make a dexterity save. You're too busy trying to yeah. get that guard yeah. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, make a dexterity save. I was about to say DC 20. Uh, so you can attempt to uh, counter spell this. Um, I can't spell it. Easy. At That's what, what level? Do. You can level. either do it. You can. I'll, I'll tell you this much. Uh, you can either do it at seventh level and it immediately succeeds, or you can do it at third level and you have to roll. I'd go with seventh level if I was you. Seventh level is a guaranteed success, or you can do third level and try to roll for it. Uh, okay, I'll do level seven. Level okay, seven. seventh level counter spell. He does not teleport can away. I get, can I? Can I then get to say? Eh, eh. Boy, <laughs> fucking dickhead. Stop him! Uh, in that case, he's just going to use his regular movement to get to about there. Um, and that's him done. Uh, the enemies are just going going to uh, gather around him. Uh, <laughs> they're not the enemies uh, anymore, Patrick. Square. They're, they 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 still have Kelvin still has enough authority. Um, uh, Rogar's turn, and he has seen the assassins. Yes, um, Rogar's going to fly down to about here. Mm -hmm. um, so he's level with these guys and lightning yep. bolt through the two. Um, technically, they'd be on different axes, but I'll say if you wanted to fly up, you could get an axis where you hit them. But yes. Yeah. Okay. So you can hit both of them. Uh, yep. Let me just roll the deck saves for them. Don't think you're there yet. <laughs> uh, they succeed on yeah. both, yeah. which means they take they take no damage because they have evasion. Ah, damn. Uh, but that is a, a, a slot burned. Okay. And that's Rogar's turn done. Uh, Daylight, your turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll, at this point, I'll hand dagger to the soldiers. Yeah. And I'll like, come up to this like corner here. <laughs> and I'll throw my dagger at this assassin. Go for it. Uh, no sneak. I'd shout at you, though. It'll probably work. <laughs> Damn. 15 just hits. Oof. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I don't think you added the the, 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 the shot oh, yeah, damage. Add the damage. Yeah, it's only but we, 10, but, but, yeah, so, but, but we, uh, yeah, we can add it. 24. Uh, 24. Okay, done. Um, yeah, I'll do it again. Yep, go for it. Oh, uh, that, that, will, that, that, will, that will miss. Okay. 100%. And that's you done, I believe. Unless you want to move. Uh, I mean, how much did I already move? Uh, like 15, so you got another. Uh, I'll move back. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, you might as well. Yeah, dash back. Just in case. <laughs> uh, Tristan, your turn. I guess I well, I mean, like, I just got shot twice, side. so. <laughs> yep. And again, they've sort of dropped down beneath the uh, thing at this point as well. Um, right. So you, you can't visually see them from where you are. I can't do anything. Um, you know that. You can always like... run to the edge and then do something. Yeah, I know, but I'm. That's not what Tristan's about at the minute. <laughs> um, is that knight, you know the knight who was on the other side of the bridge the other night? Yes. Is he in the front he, by any chance? Yes, he is in the front. Alright, I'm just gonna like... His name was Stanley. So Stanley, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just gonna like, you know, because no one's like, they're still eyeing each other up, yeah? Uh, yeah, no one wants to do anything actively because, again, most of these people still think you killed Daggle. 
Or yeah. at least tried to. Obviously, you brought him back so they're a bit confused, but they still saw what they saw. Did they not just see me get shot? <laughs> um, if they're facing no. me, because I'm right behind Dunham. Literally, it was like no, they took they yeah. they took their shots and then immediately dropped down. So oh, not necessarily. Yeah. No. I'm just gonna like kind of like switch places with Dunham. Durham. Uh, Dur Durham. Dur Durham yeah. yeah. Sorry. I just be like, I'm just gonna like you know kind of just look at Sir Stanley and sort of like his men and be like, listen to me, sir. Daggot, and on my honor, as a paladin of Torm, Daggot. I did not touch Daggot. I would not bring him back to life if I wanted him dead. Uh, Stanley just looks across at you, like, clearly, like, very afraid. Um, not not necessarily for himself, but more for his men. And he'll just I, say, I, I want no, What do you expect us to do? No more men. Just everyone stand aside. My business is with Emmerich and Kelburn. I have no. In I want no more bloodshed between men and brothers of Neverwinter. Just everyone step aside. I want Emmerich and Kelburn. They're the ones Make who have twisted this city against itself. Make one last perception persuasion check, this time with advantage. 25. 25. Oh. You will nod. And say, My men are with you. And he'll, he'll like glance back, but obviously you can't really see much amidst all the, the stuff going on. Um, I guess that's your turn done. Um, unless I can, like, they're going to let me move through. Uh, they can let, they'll let you move through, yeah. Like, is he um, going to we'll say something to this lot? Was it, was, was, yeah, Stanley has said, um, um, lay down your arms! The king's coming through! I'm just going to be like, I'm going to turn to, like, the ones loyal to me and be like, Emmerich and Kelvin, quickly, before they can escape. Arlon will lead the charge and be like, come on, guys, with me! Yeah, yeah and I yeah. basically just want to use my movement as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get to about that. You can get to about yeah. that, I'll say. Sure. Emmerich's turn. Uh, he's going to dash towards men. Get to about there. Oh, uh, fog cloud. Blue ball. <laughs> it's not a fog cloud, uh, storm but it is a spell that Rogar would be familiar storm sphere. with. Yeah. It, it is storm, it is storm yeah. sphere. Uh, yeah. So everybody in this radius. Uh, so Tristan, you need to roll. Yes. What am I rolling here? I'm hoping Strength save. Strength save me for him. Uh, can I see Tristan's saving through aura? Oh yes. I was gonna say. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, these, it is gone. These I guys mean, are it's so, oh, they're so lucky now. How long's here? Oh, there is. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you Arlon. just yeah, succeed just on your save. So you take half damage, I believe. Wait, does it say that? Um, no, they all take. They, so they, it's none at all, basically. None at all. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll say a bunch of the, the guys do take the damage, but it's not that much. However. Uh, he's going to bonus action use the, the zap on it to yeah. uh, attempt to uh, hit you, uh, which I believe is this. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, the zap. Well, it's. Uh, you have advantage on the chat roll if the target's within the sphere. So I'll roll that again. Uh, technically, you should have a, he should have advantage on it anyway because it's lightning damage and you are wearing armor. True. Um, but 16 will say misses anyway. Yeah. So you avoid the, the zap. And uh, yeah, that's Emmerich's turn. Almost done, he's just gonna switch places with this guy. Um, yeah, top of the round, Sang. You are halfway there. I'll say with your regular movement, you get to there. Oh, yeah. yeah, with your regular movement, you get to this edge. Whatever, you, whatever else you wanna do is up to you now. Barely mind. You've already used your movement, so any any further movement would be like a step of the wind. She's still invisible, type, right? Type of deal. Uh, no. Oh. Oh yes. Well, as soon Reed, Reed, as soon as yeah, Reed got yeah, attacked, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that, that was really. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't think everybody else is invisible now, but there's. Uh, actually, Reed. That's a good point. Uh, oh, I'm gonna. Up. I'm, just I'm gonna have to it. scroll up to see where I attach. Um, yeah. I took some, you, you've, you've taken damage, right? Yeah, I got hit by a few shurikens. Do you know how much damage you took? Oh, yes, it was 40... It was 46, 41. I think. Or 41. But was oh, that sure, with, you got a that, memory. Was that with two attacks? Uh, that was, yeah. Yes, it was. So, um, the first... I've, I've put it up now. The first one was 20. So roll a constitution saving for it for me. Oh no. Uh, you need you need to roll a ten on both of them. So you need to roll two constitution saving throws. 
Yeah, so that succeeds, second one fails, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, with the second attack, your invis would have dropped on Sang. Okay. Uh, but Sang, yeah, it's your turn. And Reed, you're up next, by the way, so get ready. Okay. Uh, uh, it's activating my sword. Can I just do that? Uh, it's a bonus action. It doesn't actually say. It should be a bonus action. I believe it does say. No, it just says hit points must be well, spent in order to activate. It says to change it, it can be done as a bonus action if I spend an Yeah, action. that's... It's the same to activate as well. It's a bonus oh. action to activate, it's a bonus action to yeah, change I guess, it. It's I guess a, activating is changing it. Yeah, exactly. So, no, I I, yeah. Certainly the way... Again, this is a homebrew item. It was always intended to be a bonus action to activate. Yeah, I was going to say, that's how we'd always done it, but yeah, I was yeah. just reading it. Didn't actually say. <laughs> That's a shame. That could have made things a lot nicer. Yep. But it doesn't, so what are you going to do? <laughs> Quite more. So you say that that's, <laughs> that was my normal movement? Your normal movement was to get to there. Okay. I don't think there's anything to say. And we'll say, as you've been running as well, you have run past a bunch of guards, but like none of them are actively attacking you, because they're all a bit yeah. confused as to what's going on. <laughs> that's fine. But, yeah, I, I assume I see assume... these two. Yeah, I, yeah. Just for just for the record, I assume there are still plenty more guards along this side and this side. I just can't be asked putting them on them. Yeah, yeah. I am gonna activate my sword. How much? A hundred HP. Oh. Huge mungus. Okay, that's done. Yeah. Uh, so that's your bonus action. Still got your action, so you can still move. Okay. But that will be you done once you've. Moved. 60 yeah, feet? Like 55? 55 is one move. Yeah, 55. So you can get really anywhere in this radius. I'll say if you want to be slightly off map, we'll say you're just slightly off map. But, um... I'm going to get like... Am I still invisible? Sorry, I actually missed that. No, you're, 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 you're not. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll get to like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my turn. Okay, uh, Reed, you're up. Hi. I'm gonna be like, they're dragons! Hack <laughs> them to pieces! <laughs> and um, I'm gonna move forward, to, what, 20 feet? Uh, yeah, you can move 25, however much. Um, like, watch out for the assassins! Yeah, I'm gonna be like, proper vexed. I'll be like, they must answer for their crimes. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go for a crossbow bolt. Um, it, against L Emmerich because he's in he's kind of the closest one in yeah. the head. I will still say you have to make an in the way check against this guy, but go for the go for the attack. I was gonna say I'm gonna do I'm gonna do um, my special ones. Ah, yeah, the with, uh... but the automatic hit targeting bolt is called ah. the uh, the attack automatically hits the target. Go for it. Uh, so yeah, just uh, roll the attack and then roll the damage. All right, so that is guaranteed damage against Emmerich, which is pretty nice. Um, so, do you want to do that on both attacks? Uh, it would be two, yeah. two, two charges. Okay, so yeah, 14 damage against Emmerich. So that's two, two charges spent. Um, oh, wait. I thought that was... Ah, one was just light crossbow. Sorry, I, I did it wrong. Can I do two oh, Blessed yeah. Scout? Yeah, yeah. Well, so the first one was a Blessed Scout. I'll say roll again for the Blessed Scout. Right. 22 plus 7 is 29. 29. Can I, can I message Ulfgar now? Uh, that would have been your action to do that, fortunately. Ah. So, um, it is Kelvin's turn. He's going to attempt to teleport away once more. That as well. Uh, again, you can cast it at 7th level, or you can try and roll for it. I can only do... I've run out of level 7s. So I've only got one level 7, so I'll have to do level 6. I would, I'll say, I'll say, level six and level three. There's no difference, so you might as well do it at level three. Uh, in that case. Alright, okay, I'll do um, level three. So yeah, go ahead and roll charisma for me. Uh, you're aiming for a seventeen. Straight, straight charisma, not charisma save. Straight charisma. Yes. Ooh, Eighteen is enough, and uh, you managed to stop him from uh, teleporting. Uh, you are within sixty, right? No, you're not. So actually. You could not have uh, done that. Uh, let me let me triple I'll check. Move. Did I move the full twenty-five feet? I would have. No. I think I did. Yeah. I meant to. 
Yeah. Well, like I said, if you meant to, I'll allow it this time. But in future, Paul, if this ever happens yeah, again, yeah. <laughs> I'll, if this ever, yeah, if this exact scenario happens again, I'll say this. <laughs> but oh, yeah. in this scenario, you could have moved 25 feet closer and done it. So, oh, so. I don't know, it was here, I think. It was here where my arrow is. That still um, wouldn't be in 60, range. 60, yeah. It's 65. Mine's got 60. Mine's well, yeah, you've done it from the wrong point, like... yeah. From my point, it's 65. Who's the red arrow? Like, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck it. You did Same. it from one. Uh, it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna double check the range on it. Um, I think I'm, I was here. I'm pretty sure the spell range be, is 60. 60. Uh, yeah, it, is, it yeah. is 60. Jamie, can you run it back and make sure I was here? Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, has, Jamie has run it back, and we'll say, for the purposes of this, they out. So. Gone. So 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 no no spell slot spent because weren't able to do it. Um, but uh, yeah, Emric, Kelburn, and uh, these two close guards bounce out of there. So it's Rogar's turn, and the assassins are still in play. I'm right. annoyed about that. Uh, Daylight York next. Yes, yeah, same again. Yeah, same again. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Even though they have evasion. Uh maybe not then. Well, I mean, what else? Is, what else is he gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> attack tying. <laughs> <laughs> the fight's over. Attack. To be fair, that is classic Rogar. Yeah, like yeah. it's exactly what Rogar would do. <laughs> the dragon is teleported away. Attack tying. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, should I use telekinesis on one of them? Yeah, but what, what are you trying to do with push? Like no telekinesis. So he can move them. Yeah, but where yeah. are you moving to? On top of the bridge and dropping him in the middle of all the guards. <laughs> So he gets to make a strength save. Uh, yes. Assassins are bad. Oh no, straight strength check. Is that a strength save or just straight strength? If it says strength check, it's strength check. I mean, to be honest, for the assassins, it's the same. It's the same difference. Yep. Yeah, he fails. Fail. So which one? This one, the closest one. So we'll say you lift him up and bring him on. Yeah, and dump him there. Yeah. Mhm. Mm that's where guys turned well, can... uh, Yeah. 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 yeah, that's, yeah that's where I got. You, you can move if you would like to move, but Daylight, you're up there. Uh, do I have enough movement to get to... Ah, I guess I'd have to go through people. Again, you could misty step it. Hmm. I mean, that does seem like a bit of a waste. I'll just, like, move there, like, and take the extra movement and just attack him once. I right, so bonus action move, and then... Yeah. So, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, 16? Yeah. Hits. So that's... 30. 30? Yeah, flat 30. Nice. Uh, Tristan, your turn. Uh, I'll say, okay. uh, make a perception check. Not Tristan's best. Oh, but okay. 17. You can tell that... Um, Emery that... and Kelburn are gone. And again, all four of these assassins are technically beneath the, uh, the bridge. Well, not this one. <laughs> okay, sorry, yeah, apart from that one. Yeah, this guy just like gets yeeted over the bridge by Rogue. I just turn around yeah. and like, ah. <laughs> Pretty much. Fuck. I just realized I could have done something against that, but never mind. Oh, counter spell. Yeah, I could have, yeah. but I forgot, so it's my bad. Can I just go and move the engage this guy in combat? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I attack him. Go for it. <clears throat> You're gonna move? Oh, like... Yeah, you oh. can actually move your guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, both those hits, so that's uh if you can add that up for me, please Sean. Uh thirty-six. <laughs> Take the word for it. Done. Yeah. You're still alive. Actually I I'm going like I'm going in with the intent of taking this one prisoner. I was gonna say it's now your allies turns and they're actually gonna attack him yeah. well. I'm just being like, you know, take him take him alive. Just for fun, make a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just to see if, like, in the, in the, uh, the like, frenzy, they, no. <laughs> yeah, in the frenzy, they, they were just killing before. You didn't say please. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, eighteen is fine. So, one, not twenty, two, three, four. So he's still alive. Damn. <laughs> he's really low, but uh, yeah, this, these guys have a lot of hit points. In fact, this guy can get in. He's just a regular soldier, so he'll do a lot less damage. He has advantage. He does, it's true. <laughs> but, thank you, uh... 
<laughs> sank. Uh, four points it. of damage <laughs> uh, is still not enough to finish him, unfortunately. Big four. Mm -hmm. uh, sank, your turn. <clears throat> okay. Can I jump off the bridge and then run across the water <laughs> to this guy? Oh, okay. uh, yes, so you, you can. Yeah. I'm going to use a key point to use Step of the Wind rather than my action. Yes, so that gets you there before, and then you can and actually... Did I say which form I'd chosen? I don't think I did. No. Uh, you did not. It would have been yeah. either um, metal or stone. Can it be water? Because I'm right next to a river. When you did it, you weren't in the river. Uh, so... Do I have to be in it or just near it? The, the, sword has... right next to it. the sword has to be touching the element. All oh, right. When you cast uh, it. Sure. Okay, I was doing water, but never mind. In that case, uh... If the sword's made of metal, does that mean you can choose metal whenever you want? Yeah, that, no, that, that, that's the bonus of it, is that yeah. he can get metal whenever he wants, but the other four, he has to be near the element. Okay. But, yeah. What wood? He... Can he get wood? That is one of the that is that that is one of them, but unfortunately yeah, no wood is near. Which is why we we <laughs> we've most stick around in your pocket, I, like... I think we've pretty much only seen Sang use metal purely yeah, because yeah. that's why she's only had that ability. Yeah. Well sooner or later, Sang, you got uh, you gotta get wood. <laughs> wood is actually a really strong one for her as yeah. well. Yeah. If Sang just carries around like a stick and like a pebble, All right. could she then Um you still need to be close to the element, I would say. No, and, uh, it takes out the stick and like puts it on the sword with that. I know. See, I would say that doesn't count. You still need to have the element around you, but you still need to also like touch the blade to it to act. Yeah, then it would just be metal in this yeah. case. No. Uh, uh, yeah, go know. ahead and make your two attacks. And I'll say if you want to, are you able to like move to a position? Otherwise, you will just plop into the ocean. <laughs> uh. Where was I? I thought something yeah, like, walk and walk. Can't right. quite remember. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll say you have enough to get either onto the thing next to him or the one behind. Sure, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, first attack hits. And what was the and damage? Then you also get yeah. a second attack. But I not, but not, might not need it. <laughs> but not a bonus um, action. Uh, you probably will. I'll say that much. Yeah. These, these guys have a lot of help. What was it? 10d6. Uh, 10d... Is it, no, is wait, it, hang on. Is it, is it not a d8? Cause I thought I brought it down from a d10 to a d8. Oh, yeah, sorry, d8. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, which is still very strong, to be clear. 62 points of damage. Uh, he's still alive. Whoops, that's the wrong... <laughs> there we go. Yeah, go ahead and roll the, uh, the 10d... whatever. 10d8. 46. Still alive. Even after both of those strikes. Oh, you don't get an unarmed strike. You had to oh, no? bonus action. You had to bonus action dash that... to the wind. Oh, that's a... oh yeah, that's a bonus action. To, to oh, get yeah. to. I forgot uh, about the bonus action. Uh, Reed, your turn. Okay. Um, oh, I'm pretty mithered about all this. I really can't wait to run back the footage and just see if I was actually closer. Mm. And, and I will shoot no. myself if that happens. Yeah, no, you I won't. mean... I no, you won't, like because it. when you originally measured it, it was 75, so... I don't know. Yeah. I mean, what's done is done, I guess. I'm gonna use a spell slot. Uh, <laughs> sorry, a charge um, yep. slot. I'm gonna go. Oh shit! I can't actually. No, I'm just gonna do a normal uh, on the the closest guy to me. I'm gonna do two shots. Shots fired. Yeah, I'll say if you want to like fly a little bit this way, then um, you'll be able to like see this guy. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, any shots in particular, or just like regular regular shots? It's regular blessed scout. Go for it. Uh, both hit, so that's uh, 23 points of damage. You can bonus action shoot again, if you would like. Uh, 17 also hits, so that's another 8. This guy. Okay, uh, that's you done. Um, Rogar's turn. Rogar's turn. Is this guy looking like real art? Yes, very much. Okay. <laughs> Incredibly hurt. Rogar's Sneeze gonna, on him. Rogar's gonna fly down behind him and bonk him over the head with his staff. Go for a bonk. With advantage. With advantage, yeah, because... Oh wait, no, which one has Rogar got? Staff of Wind, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Which does have like a plus to it, to be fair. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Uh, 15. 15. 15 just hits. So oh, yes. I will say, <laughs> yeah, that, right. if, <laughs> if you would like it to be uh, non lethal, he is just bonked and conscious. Yes. Yeah. Bonk on the head. And that's Rogar done. Yep. Daylight, your turn. Yeah, I'll uh, throw my daggers at this guy again. Yep. Oh shit, I forgot that turn. Oh well. <laughs> oh. No, no, you go, you go for it. Oh, it was my, it was my bad again. So go for the. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven will absolutely. Is that with sneak attack? Uh, no. No. Sharp field. Cool. Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, go ahead and roll your second attack, if you'd like. Also uh, hits. Damn. This one I will teleport behind him. Okay, he is still alive, but you do teleport to him. Uh, Tristan, you're set. Hola. Right. Um, if there's much you can. There's not really anything I can do. I'll just be like, um, you know, I'll give a nod to Ro more. I'll give a nod to Rogar. <laughs> <laughs> like, good job, Rogar. Uh, he'll nod. He'll nod, but like, oh, oh. Um, oh yeah. I'll just sort of like gesture to the guards to like take him into custody. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and actually, I want to sort of like make my way this way towards Dago. It is now the assassin's turns, which I forgot last time. So, uh, we'll say one will make an attack against, or two attacks against Dela. Uh, no. They both miss. Uh, we'll say this guy is going to run across to about here. He's then going to take shoot two shots against Reed. I think the 18 hits. So 10 points of damage to you, Reed. Ooh. Yeah, it is. Uh, attacks against Sang. Both miss. Damn, that wow, that's those. rolling terribly. Some, some, some pretty bad rolls there, yeah. Uh, and the other guys in contrast. The fact that their poison doesn't work. Is like yeah, I was going to say, the, po the, the poison damage is a, is a huge part of yeah. you not taking me. Like, on that, like, attack against Reed, like, three yeah. quarters of the attack was poison, but mm -hmm. because it doesn't work. This is why Hero's Feast is so good. It's like, there's no reason not to cast it every day, which is why I allow it, because it's just like, it makes sense. Um, Sam, you're up next. Okay, I'm gonna... As this guy slices, slices, and misses both. I'm gonna use my bonus action to change my sword type to water. Okay. Uh, <laughs> change it to water. I will attack him again. Hits. This time, it is an additional 1d6 <laughs> per 5, so that's 20d6. <laughs> Yeah, he had 10 hit points left. So he... Oh, right. Well, he was dead already. <laughs> <laughs> Obliterated. Absolutely destroyed. Okay. Yeah. Can I see this guy through the other side? Mm, I'll say based on where the poles would be, no. Okay. Well, make, make a perception check. Go, yeah, I'll say make a perception check. 16, yeah. That's enough. Okay, then I will run through. Mm -hmm. Up behind this guy. Do you have mm -hmm. enough movement to get? Yeah, it's 50, less than 55. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. And then... Go for another slash. Does the water thing have an, an additional effect? Oh, yes. Uh, it probably does. Push them 10 feet away. Mm -hmm. That's still big, because they can just push him in the good. water and then it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is that as, what save is that, sorry? Strength save. If he's still which alive, is, anyway. Yeah, which, which assassins are bad at. Uh, yes, yeah, He definitely fail. fails. Uh, that's 81 plus 12. Uh, actually, yeah, that's enough to just kill him. <laughs> and then he goes flying into the water. Yeah. <laughs> and then he splashes <laughs> in the water. Nice. Okay. That's me done. Okay, we've just got the one guy left. Uh, read it, it's your turn. And I'll say from where you are currently, you can... I just chop his head off. ...not well. see the guy, but you can see where Dale is fighting. Oh yeah, you can just I'm chop gonna... his head off. I'm gonna... The head goes flying. I'm gonna do like yeah. a... Like the Damon scene in... in uh... <laughs> he can keep his come tongue. Up, come up behind him, but just slice his head right off. <laughs> Our children are Dayla. bastards! Hold on, let Reed speak. <laughs> I didn't really... I said, I'm going to shoot Dayla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Don't, Don't let him speak. Let Don't let him speak. <laughs> uh, again, I still oh, say he's, hell on us. he's... He is behind cover there. But still behind cover. But you can still shoot. He'll just have a bonus to his AC. Right, yeah, I'm going to shoot. Shots fired. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, yeah, the 25 and the 30 will still hit even with the bonus. So that's yeah. 22, 33, and that's enough to finish him off. And we'll say yeah. with that, uh, combat comes to a close because you've knocked one out, killed the other three, and uh, yeah, that'd be that. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Poor Ulfgar, he's like checking his watch in the cloud. Oh, yeah, we've like, got that. Where are they? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping that we'd manage to somehow get one of them to turn into a dragon so we could call Ulfgar in then, but oh well. It well yeah. Uh, yeah, it was finding the right time because I was like, oh, if they're, if they're on the ground, then that's probably better to call Ulfgar, what, so he can deploy the gut, the fucking commander. To be honest, I I'm like, I'm pretty happy with that because we only like seven people died. <laughs> And that yeah, was going to be like a full-on fight, so... Yeah, I don't really care about I that. I just wish I got a headshot. <laughs> Dagult, who is uh, alive, um, do you say anything or do anything to him, Tristan? Um, does he look kind of like... What does he look like? Is he a bit confused? What's he like? Um, Give him mouth to mouth. He, he is looking around at the guards <laughs> in confusion as to like why they're not attacking. Why they're not attacking me? Yes. That's interesting. I, I, you know, I would have thought, uh, okay, I walk up to him. <laughs> Again, the guards sort of have him, like, held. And he is an old man, <laughs> so yeah. he's not really, he can't really do anything. But you know. he's just sort of like, You, you killed me! Guards, what are you doing? I'm, I'm still quite impressed that you somehow feel that I killed you with no weapons and no magic. And... Arrest this man! And he's like, he's like very clearly still very hurt and is barely conscious. Uh, I'll just turn to the guards and I'll be like, T take the Lord Protector to a chamber, have a, have a priest and a, a healer see to his wounds. As he's like being dragged away, he's just pointing to you and he's like, What are you doing? Arrest this man! And he just sort of like half passes out as he's dragged away. So, uh, just... whilst he's walking away, can I... I, um, cast the Great Restoration on him, just to see if that does anything. Uh, yes, you, I'll say you have enough time to fly over and cast Great Restoration on him. Um, as you do, his whole body just, like, falls limp as he, like, passes out for a moment. Oh, I thought I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's, he's still very much breathing, but the, you can tell that the toll it's taken on just you casting that spell is enough. And based on the fact that he was weakened very much already, it's enough for him to, like, pass out and... If you want to wake him up, you could cast a you, you cast a healing spell to wake him up, but um, yeah, that knocks him out. I would say. I mean, I would have seen that, and I would have thought, "Shit, I've killed him." So I would have, I would have a little immediately healed him. Word. Just to uh, make yeah. him feel better, but not to wake him up. Just, just to, yeah, just a, okay. Just, just the first level, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll say you cast the you cast the first level spell on him. Yeah. He like. Good slowly stirs into consciousness and you've cast great restoration on him. yes he just looks around i'll say uh tristan and reed make insight checks because you are the closest uh this man looks like someone with alzheimer's he looks confused as to where he is what the fuck is going on he's just like he, he's not saying anything because he's that He's that confused. He's that he's that shocked as to what the hell is going on. All right, I'll get the guards to halt, real quick, mm -hmm. and I'll just walk up to him and I'll be like, I'll be yeah, "He's like he's on the verge of falling. If it weren't for the guards holding him up, otherwise he would just have fallen by now." Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. What? What is this? Lord Protector Dagult. He looks up at you. For a moment, he doesn't recognize you, and then there's a brief recollection. Tristan? Yes. That's me. I... I know you. How... How do I know you? I think you've been, um, asleep for a long time, Lord Protector. He, like, again, goes to, goes to stumble. I'll catch him. Yeah. And sort of, uh, would Lay on Hands sort of just like restore him a bit? Uh, yes, yeah. It would. I'll use a bit of Lay on, I'll use Lay on Hands on him. Yeah, I'll say, say like, I don't know, five or ten points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. However, yeah. Ten points, yeah. And, ten points yeah. of Lay on Hands. He feels a little more rejuvenated. He like puts a, a hand on, on your arm. And says, Dark have been my dreams of late. Explain yourself. What was the last thing you remember, Lord Protector? 
clearly, remember. Clearly? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I just... Everything seems... Foggy. Like... I was there, but I wasn't. I, I, don't, I don't understand. You are under the control of a blue dragon. Emmerich or Kelber, Kelburn, one of the two, had you under their spell, directing you and this city in their, for their own needs and ill intent on the rest of the Sword Coast. The war against Luskin was of their own design. Luskin? We were... We were... Of course we were. Why, how do I... Oh. He like he like pushes the guards off him as he like stands up now, proud and tall for the first time in a long time. He says, "I thank you, Tristan, for your, for whatever you did." He turns to you, Reed, and like gives you a nod. He says, I, "I'm not sure what damage I've caused. Um, whatever I have done, I, I apologize." I, I'll just kind of like gesture around and sort of like gesture at my brow, and I say, "Lord Protector." Um, I don't know how much you remember of the last two days. Potentially nothing at all, but... I have vague recollections. Fragments of... A fragment of a memory. Allow myself to properly introduce myself to you now, then, in your full cell. My name is Tristan Aligonda, Paladin of Torm. At this point, he looks up at the crown, and you see his face immediately drop. Paladin of Torm, and... Indeed, heir to this throne. And as you can see... So you see, have come to supplant me. I have come... ...to save the city, Lord Protector. In your... ...how we say, absence... ...the city has been plundered, driven to ruin... ...and its people abused and suppressed... ...by every decree and taxation order that came out of your halls. Perhaps it'd be best if you follow me to the rest of the councillors. I need rest. We'll take you to the castle. At this point, you all hear a echoing cry across the city. Something that you would all recognize as a dragon cry. Read, Wolfgar, now. <laughs> you immediately see a dragon take off from the Hall of Justice flying in a, a wide berth away from you guys north can dragons and... I assume dragons outfly dwarven sky ships right is there any one way to find out alright I guess we give chase so you're oh, running to the to the to the skyship are you teleporting uh, there with Rogar uh, quick, I, I turn to Arlon mm -hmm. and I call, someone, like, you know, call the blazer just around to me and I, I'll, <laughs> I'll turn to Arlon and I'll be say Arlon you know what we need to do, right? Uh, you need what's to that hold, again? You need to hold the city. That dragon yeah, needs yeah. to die. Well, the dragon seems to be flying away, from what I can see. The dragon needs to die. Trust me. He'll be back. He's all the way over there. How are we going to catch him? We've got a skyship, don't we? Well, then let's get on it! Yeah, you need to hold the city, Arlon. He, like, he, he nods. This. I can do that. You and the Grey Cloaks. Solidify the city. And alleviate the people's cancel the taxation. Appoint, appoint him as the commander. Yeah, yeah I, I, I have. All right. Um, I'll quickly like sort of mo like move over to to Arlon. Um, and I'll sort of like you know I'll just be like Neil, quick, Neil. He, he kneels. And I'll be like the dragon's actively getting away. Yeah, yeah. I'll be like oh. Arlon, <laughs> Arlon of the Grey Cloaks. For your great service, I appoint you Lord Steward of the city until I return after we've slain this dragon who's plagued the city. Do you accept? I accept. All right. Now go let, kill this let bastard. No, let no man or woman deny his authority in my name. Let's go. Yeah. And then with that, uh, Rogar, teleport us all up to the skyship. To the skyship. Uh, teleporting. See, he can teleport uh, himself and up to eight others. Um. Uh, are you, or are you just going with the blazer trust? Or the blazer trust? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the we'll say, needs no, to hold. Don't bring that guard. That's the bardic inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring that guy. Is. <laughs> well, so he, he just brings the blazer dress and uh, you will teleport oh. to the skyship yeah uh, which is already hovering it was at the ready because of what was going on but it had, hadn't actively engaged yeah uh, uh, you see you see Ulfgar and all his brothers there so yeah uh, ah Tristan what's the plan then the dragon we're gonna kill the bastard yeah uh, at, at this point you see it fly past the city and it's now like passing out of its, its range 
But I and, guess uh, it's full, speed, full, full speed ahead. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we'll say, uh, Grandir will then say, Right then, lads! To your stations! Quick! And everybody rushes, and uh, the ship takes off after the dragon. And, uh... <laughs> well, we'll get to that. Range. We'll get to that next session. <laughs>